The Web Files. 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 Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Web Files Buzz. I'm Kristen Burt. It's the WB.com kind of day, and they've got a whole slate of summer series coming your way. We've got a behind the scenes sneak peek at Jace Hall's Chatham and Blake Calhoun's Expose. Let's check it out. All right, Jace, welcome to the Web Files. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Chatham. There's actually a physical gland inside people's bodies that affect their imagination. Chatham is a character who has sort of the most powerful gland that there is. He actually can manipulate the environment around him. So we discover sort of this fantastic world along with the character of Chatham sort of against this dark presence. I mean, it's 3D animation, it's got a little element of horror in it. This is actually, as far as I can tell, the first fully computer animated uh, web show that's been taken to the level that it, that it has. And the way that we pulled that off is we did it entirely inside of a video game technology. Friends of mine uh, create this uh, video game engine called Unreal. So I called them up and I said, hey, can you use your engine to create an entire animated story inside of it? You have something that looks better than the original Toy Story movie that was built just for the internet within those economics, telling this honest to goodness story that uh, I think people will find unique and I think uplifting by the time you get to the end of it. Alex Party, did he bring this project to you? He's the creator or did you come to him? Chatham originally started off as a character on the front cover of the rock band, The Used. Chatham was like their mascot. And Alex Pardee was contracted to create this character, but that's all. So they took the character, put him on, didn't explain it, and it's like some cool looking character on it. Well, um, Alex put Chatham as a character up on MySpace, and Chatham as a character just got 40,000 friends. And so this is sort of how I get introduced to this character. And I thought, you know what? Since we're going to create a computer animated film, I think the Chatham character would be the story to tell. And so Alex came in and designed everything and he's a very avant-garde artist you know he opens art galleries and all this other stuff so he's brought a completely unique look to this piece of work and you've got a lot of great voiceover artists in this Katie Seagal you've got yes, that, Carl Weathers I was like Apollo Creed oh. was, there was a lot of begging going yep. on <laughs> we're blessed to get Katie Seagal and, and Carl Weathers and Jeffrey Combs who plays our our villain Viceroy uh, his voice is tremendous in, in this uh, series. I, you really got to check this out. It's exciting. And you were launching June 15th. Was that done in conjunction with E3? I thought perhaps. Well, maybe. <laughs> in film and television, you do this huge build up to get people to show up for a moment in time. However, on the internet, when you advertise something, people immediately want to see it right then and there. So you want to make sure that your thing comes out first. Then you really start spreading the word about it so that people will instantly find it and then you sort of ramp it up from there. Certainly the first people who watch it are going to be the ones who are the coolest. Well, thanks for joining us here on The Web Files. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Blake, thanks for joining us live from Dallas via Skype. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about Exposed and if you can do it in the Web Files way, which is 10 words or less, can you do it? Exposed is a story about a college kid who has the perfect life on the outside, but really doesn't. Just who are you, Henry Dye? Oh, here you go. No thanks. He doesn't drink. What do you know about Henry? Graduated from Covenant Preparatory Academy, valedictorian, lettered in soccer. Let's talk about the wedding. How's the wedding plans coming along? Got other things on my mind right now. There's nothing you can do. How do you know that? See, Henry, 
die. This is a pretty interesting follow-up to Pink. It's a thriller in the vein of Pink, but mixed in with uh, a lot of WB elements. And it's something a little different for us, but it still has that dark aspect that fans of Pink can definitely uh, expect to see. You've been working on this series for quite a while. We actually delivered the show last fall. It's just now rolling out as part of the WB summer block. It's been interesting working with the studio. Usually, like with my past shows, we shoot it, we crank it out, and it's out like in two weeks. Right. This is a lot longer process. That's been a fun learning experience for sure. We always talk about there's an LA bubble with web series, but you're a huge success and you're not in LA. The web is worldwide and you know, staying in Dallas and producing things out of Dallas is the way we've done it and the way we'll probably keep doing it. That's what new media has done in a really cool way is allowed people to be wherever they are um, and produce quality content. I've got Chase and Kim here in the room. Hey, they're both Texas actors that are now transplanted to LA. What was it like working with them? It was great. I worked with both of them on previous projects. I'd never done a web series before, so you know, getting the project and not really knowing what I was getting myself into, um, it was awesome. The, the production value was amazing, and it was like being on a, a huge film set. And I always love talking with actors that work in TV and film about the fast pace of web series. And we shot 120 minutes of content in 17 days, which, you know, I had to be on top of my game. So. Every night you're probably working right, on your memorize, lines. Memorize, memorize. And what was it like working with Blake Calhoun? He lets the actor really kind of do his own thing and gives me, you know, gives you a lot of freedom to to play. Tell us how you became involved in Exposed. I originally knew Blake Calhoun, the director of Exposed, from a previous web series I did called Pink. A small series that That's, may have been you know, streaming uh, winning. Yeah. Well, it, we didn't win Best Direction or anything. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first annual stream you I know. So we're very, very proud of that. And so since I knew Blake, we had this really great relationship and he said, I think you'd be great for this role of Gail. I mean, I love web series so much. Pink and Exposed were Oh God, they were such great experiences and such great fun to do. The fact that you are in a show that's on the web, you're gonna be seen by so many people. How many episodes will we see? Well, the rollout is gonna be in blocks of eight episodes and it starts on Tuesday, June 15th and then the second eight will go out on the 22nd. And then of course it'll be available online throughout the summer on the WB.com. Great, I can't wait. Well, Blake, thank you so much for joining us from Dallas and being our very first Skype interview. Well, thanks for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Bye. For all the latest buzz, friend us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.